Son Goku. This Super Saiyan has seen his fair share of world, no, universe ending threats. But he hadn't seen anyone treat mass slaughter like a job until he met a god of destruction. Because it is their job. A god of destruction's role is to, well, destroy ancient planets and civilizations to make way for the new. Sort of like taking out the trash, just with a billion times more murder. And in the case of universe number seven, the title of destroyer was granted to Lord Beerus. A cat. Obviously, everyone knows cats are all secretly plotting to kill everyone. Hell, God of Destruction is what my ex-wife named hers. Fun fact, while dogs have been bred as companions for thousands of years, the same only technically started for cats around 200 years ago. In comparison, they're still sort of wild animals, which makes them self-sufficient, but also standoffish. And lazy. Then Beerus may be the apotheosis of all cat dogs. When he's not effortlessly annihilating solar systems, he's napping for decades. Oh, but when he wakes up, he takes his job seriously. He's way stronger and faster than any mortal. Look at him go. That's his God of Destruction's wrath technique. He's got spheres of destruction, beams of destruction, sneezes of destruction, giant energy yarn balls of destruction. Oh, and cat aglismic orbs. Yeah. He can neutralize energy attacks from others, which is frankly just unfair. But his most awe-inspiring technique is Hakai. See, Beerus's enormous level of power stems from an unearthly source. To demonstrate, allow me to introduce our brand new disposable unit for meticulous matchup investigations, aka Dummy. Hello, Mr. Wizard. How may I be exploited today? You're trying to replace me. Now, generally speaking, there are three types of ki, which to be blunt is weaponizable life energy. First, there's normal key. Most people in the Dragon Ball multiverse have this. <laughs> Dangerous, but nothing too special. Gods have their own key, of course, which is way more potent, but like all key, they have a limited amount. But when you want the good stuff, <laughs> you go for destruction energy. <laughs> So much for your new sidekick, Wiz. Oh, no, there's plenty more. Hakai channels this energy to obliterate something in an instant, erasing both body and soul from existence. The only way to resist is to match Beerus in power. And he didn't get so strong on his own. He's trained for millions of years under this guy, also named Wiz. No, Wiss. Yeah, that's what I said. He learned pressure point combat in the super secret Ultra Instinct. More a state of mind than actual transformation. Autonomous Ultra Instinct describes the ability to instantly respond to attacks without conscious thought getting in the way. Like he's on a catnip high. With Ultra Instinct, he could even take on multiple other gods of destruction at the same time. The only problem with being so friggin' powerful is that he got kinda bored. So he was hyped when he learned there was someone out there who might be a challenge for him, the Super Saiyan God. And in their fight over the fate of the Earth, they almost destroyed the whole universe. Our own observable universe is a respectable 93 billion light years across. However, the Dragon Ball universe is noticeably different, as depicted by this symbolic model. The observable universe as we know it fits within that bottom area. Then there's hell in the middle, heaven up top, a bunch of dinosaurs sprinkled in there somewhere. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. A single clash between Beerus and Goku sent ripples of energy rocketing through this entire macroverse in just seven seconds. Even with conservative calculations, these shockwaves must have been moving well over 240 quadrillion times the speed of light. Hell, the guy's quick enough to fly between galaxies in just a couple of minutes, so no surprise there. And when him and his fat cat brother Shampa got into do a fight, they almost tore apart the whole universe themselves. Now talk about a cat fight. But despite his incredible power, Beerus eventually did the one thing nobody ever expected. He showed mercy and spared Earth. Perhaps he saw a glimmer of greatness in Goku's potential, as so many have before him. Nah, he's just a sucker for tasty food. We're happy to see you're finally realizing the full terror of Beerus the Destroyer. 